SaneNet survey each year provides a comprehensive set of data on the abundance and diversity of a variety of species during that critical first year of their life. The same net is used to catch uh, larger juveniles during the summer months. Uh, we first use the same net around uh, in late June and we carry on through to October. It's usually about once a week, twice a week sometimes. Many fish species spawn in the springtime. Uh, so initially we use our plankton net and then as the fish grow we, we, uh, we, we change our, our tactics and uh, use the same net. The juveniles tend to congregate along the sandbanks in the shallow warm waters and so we, we use a same net to, to do a, a, a seine along the shore to catch a number of species. Same net is a large net about 70 feet long and about 4 feet deep. It's got a float line on the top and then a lead line at the bottom that we're going to drag along the uh, sand bottom. It's, uh, the mesh is about half an inch on the wings and then in the center there's a bag and the mesh is about a oh, quarter of an inch. Uh, so we catch a range of sizes of fish uh, and a range of species. It's always very exciting pulling in a, in a seine net because you never really know what you're going to catch. You don't know what's going to come out of the water, that, that muddy brown water, and, and then they're, they're revealed there on the riverbank. Seine net seems very simple to operate. Uh, the key to collecting good data is to be very consistent from haul to haul. So we're interested in catch per unit effort, like how many, how, what is the number of fish. And so we have to be very consistent with our method. We count and identify all of the species we catch. Uh, and uh, they range from flounders to pipefish to American eel, uh, tomcod sometimes. It's quite a variety. So we, we, we document and count all the species diversity. Some of the individuals we, we, we preserve and bring back to the lab, uh, others we release back into the water. Our main interest in the fish that we bring back to the lab is to we measure their body size and we're particularly interested in their gut contents. Examining their stomach contents can help us build uh, like the food web for, the, for that species. What are they eating? and that's very important information when we're trying to understand the ecology of the estuary. After we've conducted each chain net haul, we record the uh, water temperature, the salinity and the oxygen concentration and the time of day that the, we, re, we made the, uh, the haul. Well, it's important to record the physical conditions in the river because they dictate the, uh, for example, the metabolic rate of the animals. So, I mean, oxygen and temperature are key parameters, and as is salinity. So those are the big three. Uh, salinity will dictate the distribution of the animals. Uh, so it's in, it's extremely important that we measure those uh, three. Over nine years, one of the most important things that we've learned is the uh, is the is the variation from year to year in the growth of the striped bass. Uh, in, in cold summers, the, 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 the growth is very poor and the fish may be no bigger than five centimeters by late September. Whereas in a good year, a very warm year, uh, 2016 was a warm summer, the, the fish are well over 10 centimeters by the, by the end of September. So th those growth variations are very important. And it, that influences the survival of the, of the fish. Oh, are the fish going to survive through the winter? Body size is a key factor dictating uh, the survival of a fish. So that they have to grow as fast as they can during that first summer to reach a minimum size that they might uh, get through the winter. What do we gain from all this effort from, from June to October? We gain a tremendous amount of data on the species diversity of the fishes and then vertebrates, uh, what they eat through stomach content analysis, and how fast each individual species is growing. 
Because we, we record uh, body size.